At the height of the pandemic, robocalls actually dropped a bit, giving us all a little break. And while there is new technology out there to fight them, consumer investigator Steve Sprasha tells us there are some robocalls that are legal, and you could expect to get them more in the next few months. There's a recognition by the industry that robocalls have hit a point where they're just one of, if not the most annoying aspect of having cell phone service. There. But those robocalls backed off a bit during the pandemic because, like everything else, the call centers that create them had to shut down for a while. The spam blocking service Umail says that robocalls dropped 40% between February and April. But with the economy reopening, the numbers are starting to creep back up. By June, Umail said 45% of those robocalls were scams. <laughs> But what is a robocall? Well, here in North Carolina, it's defined as an automated dialing device. And usually the call has a recording something like this. Press 5 to be connected. Press 9 to be permanently removed from our calling list. A live agent will not be able to remove you. You must press 9 now to be removed. But there's a loophole in the state law allowing calls like that. And in North Carolina, some robocalls are permitted as long as there's a live voice who precedes the recorded message. And as we move closer towards election day, politicians will take advantage of that loophole. In North Carolina, if you're doing a poll, or if it's a political communication, or, or some other more free speech issue. So expect those kind of robocalls to get through to you. In the meantime, many companies now offer technology verifying if a number is real and not spoofed. The question is, will all this new tech work? Well, maybe. The fact that these carriers are all on the same page definitely gives me some hope that the volume of robocalls will go down. But dumping robocalls won't be as easy as dumping old cell phones like this because experts say even with new tech, those robocalls will be around a while. Working for you, I'm consumer investigator Steve Sprasia.